question may be, uh, Pastor, is do you sometimes transfer the monies that are collected in your church to other outside countries, that is countries outside South Africa? No, mostly countries out of South Africa, some we do show it on TV when people come and they have nothing. We do show how people decide to give there. And then as a church, we would just donate and just give them to help them because some keep come suffering and everything. People watch on TV what's happening, how we help them. We do show it. We do show it how we help people who suffer even from out of the country. Uh, you are the leader of, of your church. Mm. So what's going to happen if you decide to retire uh, or if you go on pension? I see you are still young, but there might be a time when you feel like you want to retire. Uh, who's going to take over? You know, the Holy Spirit does not retire. And uh, uh, the unfortunate part, he lives in me. Yo. Anything that lives with that does not want to retire, you respond to it. Mm -hmm. So I respond to the Holy Spirit. I don't think I'll retire. The day God said it's over, that's when I retire. Mm -hmm. But as we explained, we have 21 pastors. pastors. And then I can say it's not only 21 because we train a lot of people who come. They come. Just as I said, many people prayed for me. We pray for a lot of people who come. It's a lot. So I believe in, in uh, okay, if you're a leader, you don't carry everything alone. Jesus Christ came when power was on him alone. It was going to be bad, but we saw how he distributed power. So Jesus Christ continues today because he even distributed it to, it to us. So the ministry will continue. My retirement time is when God says it's time. But now, everyone who is under me, who's, the, the church still goes on. I cannot, sometimes I'm not there, but the same thing will happen. So the ministry is still there to, to go on. Yes, I was, it comes to my, another question that I was saying. Mm. Um, I, I believe you sometimes, you are sometimes not present on a Sunday or during a, one of the services in your church, perhaps going somewhere else. Who remains uh, doing miracles in your church when you are, during your absence? Yes, that's why I'm saying I have pastors who are under me. They, they do that. That's why I'm saying they continue to do that. They continue to do that. If I'm not around, like last time you were here, it was Tuesday. <coughs> so you brought me here and people were busy there. Okay. So it was balanced. Oh. Mm. Uh, Perhaps I'll have some more questions after. Yes, uh, questions of Commissioner um, Damini. Thank you, Chair. Um, Pastor, I have a few questions for you. So I'm going to, as you see that I'm deaf, my interpreter is going to be my voice. So now it's going to be a three-way thing. But I'm talking to you now. So now you told me that uh, you have um, uh, people that are involved in things that do to your church. Do you do fundraisings? And if you do those fundraisings, who does them and how do you do them? Yes, the fundraising that we do, apart from what we get from tithing and offering, um, we do have fundraising by using um, the people. We, we sell books. We sell, you know, points, wristbands and t-shirts and everything so we do that for fundraising and then uh, when people eat during break or whatever we we use the tuck shop they buy from there so all of them that's how we we, we, we do that's how we raise money for for for, for fundraising that's how we do it okay thank you pastor um pastor i hope those who also are in the register like the literation book. Do you have a literation book where you put everything that is done that day? Yes. Because um, all churches must are under empty one title. So yes. there has to be a, a transparency. So my second question. I want to know if your church has got a foreigner pastors that come to preach at your church. No, we, 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 we never had a foreigner pastor coming to our church. Um, most of the time I preach and then there are few which we have invited around the country. They did come and then they 
preach there. We never had uh, any one foreign country. We never, we never had anyone before. But uh, they, 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 they do come. Okay, thank you, Pastor. Okay. Before you explain to me, um, you just told me that you want to get a salary, right? You get an allowance. Yes. <coughs> so now I was to want to know, in that book of Jesus that I spoke of, do you like have a book whereby people disclose and say this is how much I gave and it's a personal gift or it's a church gift? Is it a car? Is it a what? Like, do you declare and who do you declare to? Is there any book that is like that? Okay, when people give, definitely when people give, we, we, do, we, do, we do register everything that they give, just like money and everything. Uh, somebody might want to come and say, I give the church a generator. I give the church this. Obviously, when we ensure everything the church, everything is listed within that this is what the church has, this is what the church has. So insurance also proved that, I mean, this was given, this, you know. So everything gets listed. Whatever is being given, it's listed. Thank you, Chair. Okay. I love you too. There's <laughs> 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 the someone laughing. <laughs> Pastor, I want to continue with the questions. So okay. With your permission, Chair. Okay. okay. Shall I proceed? Yes, it's fine. There was a lot of media attention. Uh -huh. uh, about certain things happening at the church and uh, I did not read everything mm. but I know there was something about grass and so on. Mm. Will you tell us something about that please? Yeah, unless you want to taste, somebody's got a flower there, I think maybe you want to taste and experience it. I don't want to taste, I want to hear your story. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you want to experience that. No, it I don't will... want to experience, I want to hear your story. You want to hear my story? Okay, because I believe my story would be more, more, more when you did. <laughs> okay. Okay, it was seen on media and everything. Um, it's all about faith. It's all about faith and as Jesus turned water into wine, you know, the same. And he declared that you will even do greater things. You will even do greater things. Um, um, it's just like, okay, around Bree Street, Central Jubek here, there are people when I pass there. There are snakes, you know, snake skins, there are roots, and people buy, they go, they eat. Believing that, I don't know whether it's the Inyang or the person who sells or what, they buy, believing that they're going to be healed, they're going to be delivered from that. So now, the same to Jesus Christ when he spat on the ground and he mixed with with the soil and applied so that men's eyes that guys eyes can see so many people were healed from eating those flowers from eating that grass and everything and of which i believe we are from different denominations here we all have holy communion in our in our churches flower petrol holy communion we are lying to the people if we say it's holy communion it's grape juice or it's it's wine but we declare with our mouth that this is the blood of Christ. So we declare upon the flower, I declare upon this, and then people drink, and then people got healed, some people, you know. That's why they did not die. And uh, it, 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 it shows and actually confirming us to be of Christ. Because Jesus said, if you find them doing what you are doing, they are with us. So that's why I'm saying, if we approve all communion, and disapprove others, then Holy Communion, well, it's a grape juice, it's not, it's not the blood. But because we declare, it becomes the blood of Christ. Because we declare, it's the body of Christ. So it's not only flowers that eat, we eat flesh, we eat somebody else's body. <laughs> so that's how it happens. So it happened there, and then I believe it's, it's, it's what we believe in. Jesus said we'll do greater things. So. That's how it happened. Okay. May I follow up on that question? Mm. Because it's a matter of religious belief systems. I'm sure mm. people from your church mm. will say it's okay mm. to eat grass and flush it down with petrol. I don't know which comes first. Mm. So we are saying to us today that what we saw on TV mm. is that you were eating leaves 
and grass mm. is part of the biblical experience. It's what happened in the Bible. Yes, it's what happened in the Bible. Jesus did that, and he also said, you will even do greater things. And Genesis 1 verse 30 said, you can eat everything that is green. Mm. Everything, every animal, every, he said everything. But because of the fall of man, man is limited. You will die when you eat poison. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, the signs shall follow you. You even eat poisonous things, but you will still live. Do you think, looking back now, mm whether you have brought the whole Christian concept into disrepute mm -hmm. by what people saw on TV. Looking back, knowing mm -hmm. what you know now, mm -hmm. do you feel that Christianity has or has not been brought into disrepute mm -hmm. because of the unorthodox way, so to speak? Mm -hmm of your actions. Mm -hmm. The unorthodox way you were looking at issues of the body of Christ and the Holy Communion. Mm -hmm. As you say, petrol stands for the, the wine in other places and uh, the glass stands for the body. The, is, a, is a priest. The body. The body. Looking at him, the body of <laughs> No, it did not. It was not brought into disrepute. Many believe we have a lot of people out there. We have a lot of people coming in and out of the country. Many believe now, and um, uh, we have seen on the media. It depends on what the media reports. That's why first time I invited the media to come in church. We do have our records. We do have our stories, but they're not the same with the media. That's why I avoid the media so much. So. That's why our last time said, evidence, it's not based on media. It's not supposed to be that way. Media just reports. It will be a fight of weight. It's not what people actually saw. That's why I'm saying, I'll be happy if I can have you to come and do a little demonstration. So it's important to rely on the actual event than media. Because media would report what they want to report. But Okay, 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 okay. I've got this. All right. Why so, are you saying mm. that there was no eating of grass or leaves or drinking of petrol? That it was all misinterpreted by the Lord? Let me explain. As you see it, it's grass. As you see it, it's Holy Communion. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's wine or it's, 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 it's a red grape juice. As you see it, so they drank the blood. So if I declare that this flower is the tree of life, tree of life is not found anywhere in the world. There's a tree of life in the kingdom, in the spirit. So they begin to eat. You get it? They begin to eat. So if the Bible says now there was pasture, the ground covered by grass. So if Jesus declared, declares what you see, you look at this. This is water for everybody. But if I declare, like everybody, this is holy water. You're not like drinking just ordinary water. You drink, you drink holy water. So people did not drink water here. You drank holy water. So that's how it happens. So our beliefs, I mean, this is, that's why I'm saying this is all about faith. The moment you declare it, it will come just as you said. It will come that, 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 that blood. It becomes it. So it's not my leaf. That's why people were healed. That's why we saw testimonies. People ate. People were sick. They were <coughs> healed. People were delivered from that. Just like what I, the example that I gave around the, 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 around town here, when people go, they believe that they will be healed if they can have that snake skin, if they can have that thing from a sangoma. So now, even from our side, that's why I'm saying there's everything that people use here. If somebody comes and believes that if I'm pierced with a porcupine thorn in my nose, then something, my high blood will go. Then we'll see high blood going out through the nose. So, it's according to our belief. We believe in Christ. Jesus turned water into wine. So, scientifically, let's look at this way, scientifically. Let's go to science and leave this part. 
we must not call it Coca-Cola. It's not Coke. It's water, cola, and everything. Then Coca-Cola is lying to us. Scientifically, we must go and stop Coca-Cola. They must make Coke without water. Okay. There were allegations as well that seemed hypnotized. They seemed. Yeah, because I wasn't seemed. there. Yes, it seemed. TV thing, as you say. And it's, it's the media that said it. Uh, well, there were allegations <laughs> that people seemed like mm. they were hypnotized, mm. that people seemed like they were not in touch with what was happening uh -huh. around them. Mm -hmm. And as they were running towards the trees, mm -hmm. I'm sure you saw in the media when you said to go and eat mm -hmm. the trees. Yes. And as they were running, mm -hmm. the way they were running, mm -hmm. the way they were eating the trees, oh. mm -hmm. the way they were feeding one another the leaves and the whatever, mm -hmm. it looked like they were under a spell of one kind or another. Oh, it looked like I wasn't there. <laughs> What are your comments? Okay, when you talk about the Holy Spirit, you look at Acts chapter 2. When the Holy Spirit came, the Bible says these people were like drunk. That's why a question was asked. The people said, hey, these people are drunk. Then Peter said, these people are not drunk. This is what the prophet Joel said. In the last days, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. You can't eat the tree if you're not under the spirit. If, okay, one question was asked to me to say, um, would you eat grass if I command you to eat? I said to them, if you have the Holy Spirit, you can command me to eat grass. I can eat it because I'm under the control of the Holy Spirit. But you can't. I'm the one who can make you eat right now because I'm under the control of the Holy Spirit. So those people were not drunk. It was 9 a.m. in the morning. So people don't know the Holy Spirit. You cannot mistake the Holy Spirit with hypnosis. The things that we do, even hypnosis cannot even do, it, it, it cannot even do it. That's why uh, I allow everybody to come, they have to prove it. It's not hypnosis. I've never done hypnosis, I'm not, I'm not from school of hypnosis, I'm the school of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm. Let's put the accusation to you, Pastor. Yes. You believe the Holy Spirit speaks to you and you can declare something and then if you believe it, it will happen. Let's say, so I've got actually two questions. Let's say you can convince me to strap a bomb around my waist, walk into a stadium, mm -hmm. because the Holy Spirit told you to instruct me to do that. Mm -hmm. how, will you, how will you respond to that? Okay, the Holy Spirit instructs me to do that. And, and what, the bomb must explode or not? Well, that's, why I'm, that's why I want to understand your question now. If I tell a person that you should wrap his bomb around the waist, look, look, I want to get the question in clear. In essence, my question means this. Uh -huh. You can tell somebody to do something that in the natural sphere people won't do. Uh -huh. I, I will not drink petrol. Uh -huh. I will not. Mm -hmm. No matter what people tell me. Uh -huh. The point I'm trying to make is this. In other words, We've seen something that's going on in France lately, how mm. people will do certain things, and we, we have uh, an inclination to think maybe somebody else told them also to do something. Mm -hmm. So, in essence, that's, that's my question, because in my understanding, there's a small step mm -hmm. between doing something that's irrational mm -hmm. and doing something worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in France people die, in South Africa people didn't die. Yeah, but that's not my question. That's why now I'm, I'm coming. In France, people died. In South Africa, people didn't die. That's why I explained how a miracle works. Then your question, if somebody, I can instruct someone to wrap a bomb on his waist and tell him to go, the bomb, must it explode? Is, it, is he going there to perform a miracle or is he there to kill people? That's why I want to get the question clear. Yeah, I'm worried maybe we are missing each other. The mm -hmm. point I'm making is this. Mm -hmm. I can take control of somebody and I can make him to do something, uh -huh. I am convinced I'm under the authority of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. It depends whether you control somebody or not. Here, it's the Holy Spirit who takes over. That's why I'm saying it depends. I cannot send somebody in the stadium to say, go bomb people, let them die. I believe in Christ. Do not murder. Do not kill. 
So here, nobody died. I didn't kill anybody. Nobody died. That's why I'm saying now, I cannot say to somebody, take a bomb, go cause the people to, those people to die. That's why I'm saying now, let's prove it. Who died? I cannot say that. So now, coming to Gnosis issue, I believe as this is an investigative study, come, get somebody who specializes in hypnosis. Let him come and prove, as many tried. Let them come and prove to show whether this is hypnosis or not. And, and, okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Se second question. It's easy for one person to mm. make a wrong decision. Uh -huh. I'm not saying you are making wrong decisions, but mm. I say uh, on a normal level, it's uh -huh. easy. Mm. Do you have some kind of authority over you that can help you and tell you, listen, you know, you will have a voice behind you telling you, listen, careful now. Uh, do you have a, an, a, a, are you standing under some kind of authority? Or are you only, it's only you and the Holy Spirit? No, I'm under the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember he said you will do greater things and you will even do new things. When you pray, you pray, God says, I will answer, I will show you great and mighty works. I'll show, you, I'll show you things that you don't even know. Yes, sir. You've answered my question. Thank you, sir. Okay. Do you think you control people's minds when they are under what you call the Holy Spirit? No, what's happening is I don't control people's minds. Now, this is now coming to me. It's not me. I think the main man who's questioned here is Jesus Christ. Okay. Because I'm under his authority. So now, when he instructs his disciples, go into every house. This is what we do. Anoint them with oil. Do this. It's the same as what is happening now. Go. We follow instructions. When he sends them out, he sends them with instructions. So now, as I follow instructions, I follow what my master says I must do. So don't worry. Even find my master and bring him here. Let him come and account and tell us why he instructed me to do this. So we allowed Christianity in this country. We've got constitution which says there's freedom of religion and everything, of which I believe that a right thing was done by this country because everybody has to be free and do whatever they want to do based on rel the religious rights or the religious beliefs. So now, that's why I'm saying I don't control the minds of people. When I do things, it's no longer I, it's my master. So I believe, let's look for my master and bring him here or come to him. Let him be the one because he instructed you, you will do the things that I did and even greater things. Okay. So you're saying it's the Holy Spirit yes. that instructs you. Mm that you must ask people to eat grass and leaves mm. and drink petrol. Mm -hmm. So it's that where you come from, that it's your, it's the Holy Spirit that comes into you. It's the it's Holy special. Spirit and it's even biblical. That's why I could, that I have to quote uh, Genesis 1 verse 30, before the fall of man. I have to quote even the book of Daniel where the king was disobedient and God took him to cause him to eat grass, to stay with white animals, to humble him. There was a reason. Everything that you do, there's a reason. There's a reason. There was no wine. Jesus had to make wine. From water. From water. Fortunately, there was no petrol. <laughs> 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 was right. It was dirty. You know what's happening? The water was dirty. That's where the Jews used to wash ceremoniously. And that's how he made wine, mm -hmm. out of dirty water. So there was a health risk. But the people lived and the people were happy. <laughs> so are you saying you made wine out of petrol? It was pineapple juice. The pineapple <laughs> juice. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a healing medicine. It was medicine. That's why we had testimonies of other people who drank. That's why now they gave testimonies that I suffered for a long time with the stomach. This, I couldn't sleep on, on my stomach. And this is what happened. It was on TV. They even showed even the lady who testified after drinking petrol. She was healed. She's still there. The sickness didn't come back. She's still there today. Why do you think, from your perspective, mm. that the greater majority of Christians mm -hmm. in this country and in other countries mm -hmm. find your actions unacceptable? No, it's, 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 I believe it's the media. That's why I explained that we have a lot of people who come in and out of the country.
they appreciate you. You see how they beg on TV. If you watch us, they come. That's why I'm saying uh, we don't rely on the report of the media. That's why I'm saying you guys are welcome to come, are welcome to come and visit and see what is happening. I'm talking about the leadership in the church. If, for instance, I was to go to people like which we have, uh -huh. talk to people like Bishop Tutu, uh -huh. who has been the mm. leader mm. in many other ways, mm. and who understands mm. the Bible mm. very well, because mm. that's who he is, that's where he comes from. Mm. Do you think if you can ask him to advise us, mm. he would say what we are doing is the norm in the church? Um, let me say it this way, Deuteronomy 8 verse 16, God says I'm giving you the manna which your forefathers know nothing about. It's not our fault if other people don't know what is happening now with this generation. Because he says I'm giving you what your forefathers know nothing about. So it goes back to blaming God for doing a new thing which other people never experienced before. If Jesus said you would do greater things. Greater things were not done before. So those who were there before greater things happened, they wouldn't understand the greater things. So that's why I'm saying, um, okay, the fathers may disagree. We call them fathers. We call them fathers yes. because they've been there. Mm. We do honor them. That's why I'm saying we cannot blame them for not understanding what is happening. The Apostle Paul came. Peter was there. Mark, James were there. Andrew were there with Jesus Christ. But he came later than them. But he's the one who said, Though I'm less than the least of all of them, but the secret things of the kingdom were given unto me. So these secrets, if God give you the secrets, those who were not there, they wouldn't understand the secrets. But some of the fathers do understand, do know, because from the biblical knowledge, from the biblical knowledge, they know that God said you would do greater things. Nicodemus went to Jesus Christ. And he says, it shows that you are from God, for no one can do the things that you're doing. It means no one would do them before Jesus would come. So only one person out of a lot of them came to Jesus and understood. So just to satisfy your question, only one person from many came and said, it shows that you are from God. But here's the secret. We know. We know that you are from God, for no one can do the things that you're doing. We all know that nobody died. Don't we know? Don't we know? 